Earlier today, Sticks Hex and Hammer released a video begging his fans to not to to uh, vote for Joe Biden in the primaries because you know he he's represented by uh, Bernie Sanders in Vermont. And I left a comment that I didn't have to do such a thing because Cory Booker, the guy who represents me, and embarrassing uh, my hometown and you know community and county. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he like he's not even making debate stages or anything else like that, and he's out. Man, I told you so. I I've been saying this since before he decided he was going to run. That he was way too disingenuous. It, 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 he's fake. He is a NPC. If one was ever, um, if if one was ever brought to human form it, it that is cory booker he is an establishment puppet and crony and in the coming uh in his re-election bid he's facing against i think I, the one i know is Lar is larry ham but then there's trisha flanagan there are so many people that are coming for his seat so we'll see what comes of it but as of right now cory booker's out and we're gonna take some of the fox news coverage and you know go after it. go into it let's go and free beacon and resident fellow at AEI. Good morning to both of you. So on the news, he says it's with a heavy heart that he'll suspend his campaign. I've made the hard decision to suspend my campaign for president. Jessica, to you, first reaction on that. I'm not terribly surprised considering there's a debate coming up tomorrow night and Cory Booker will not be on the stage for it. It's do or die time. We're going to actually start voting, which is very exciting. And he just wasn't resonating with the Democratic base. Nope, not at all. And it's primarily because he's so damn disingenuous. What happened to all the love, Corey? We're going to beat Trump with love. Kissy, kissy, kissy. I'm sorry. The, like, because I know there are actually people who really were under the mindset or belief that he stood a chance in hell, but no. No, 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 no. Once, uh, like, it's one thing to have an establishment, have a complete control over a territory such as Nork, to whereas they can force uh, their guy in there. And it's another thing to try to take that act national. And at the national level, there you could see through them. And he didn't even make it to the voting states. Jesus. I'm curious now to see if he's going to endorse. We saw Julian Castro drop out recently and immediately came out for Elizabeth Warren. Will Booker do something similar with, I would assume, Joe Biden? Joe Biden. It'll be Joe Biden because he's an establishment. Like, this is like the establishment has absolutely like the, the emperor has no clothes when it comes to the establishment. They it is they are so their heads are so up their ass and they are so detached from reality that they, you know, they don't realize that it's really obvious who is just phony as hell at this point. Uh, time will tell on that. I was a big fan of Cory Booker's, but he just wasn't popping with voters. And it's best that he goes back to his job. He has a Senate trial coming up and he can make a big impact there. In a letter to his... Really? I mean, what, you're talking about like in, in, impeachment? That that whole deal? Darling, like, that's dead when it hits the Senate. Reporters that he sent just a few moments ago, Matthew, uh, in that he says, I will carry this fight forward. I just won't be doing it as a candidate for president this year. He also goes on in this letter to say it was a difficult decision, but I got in this race to win. And I've always said I won't continue if there was no longer a path to victory. So you never really should have gotten in the race. I mean, after that uh, pharmaceutical bill that you voted for and the whole progressive wing of the Democratic Party, the AOCs, Justice Democrats and the like, were like, mm -mm, that that was it, bro. That's because that's who's rocking with Bernie right now. That's why Bernie got as much um, uh, 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 a clout as he does is because there's that whole AOC, uh, the squad type um you know wing of the democratic party that's like hey it's our time i mean they're gonna be super disappointed come november but <laughs> just like cory book of fans is right now but let's be real it, like that they, they had um once he did the thing with the pharmaceutical vote it was over for him as far as those folks were concerned your reaction so this is not Cory Booker's Spartacus moment like he had during the <laughs> Kavanaugh hearings. But I oh, yeah, that too. I mean, bruh, 
guess I guess because that's the thing. It was so. I, I think you could pull stuff like that off if you're genuine, if you're being real, if you're being legit. I think that could have, like, on paper, it's not that terrible of a move. But unfortunately, Cory Booker does not know real. That's one of the reasons Nork is as as gentrified as it is right now, is getting as gentrified as it is right now because the establishment brought their guy through and he just completely wrecked shop. I think what's notable about this is Cory Booker was selling uplift. He was selling a positive message about American unity. And I think it's clear that that's not what Democratic voters are interested in this time. They either want to beat Trump, which is the faction of the party that's supporting Biden, or they want someone who wants big structural change and isn't afraid to talk about it. And that's Sanders, the candidate of positivity, optimism and unity just couldn't make it. So ultimately the uh what what it boils down to is that you got the communist socialist um just free everything wing that's really trying to take over right now versus the neolib establishment corporate puppetry wing that is you know like firmly against it that's where we're at right now and cory booker being that neolib um candidate where you know corporate candidate who like you know oh i'm black who thought he was going to use the fact that he was black as a uh quote unquote black uh as a springboard towards the presidency particularly after obama because you can kind of see where he thought he was just like obama like yes i'm just as articulate as obama so thusly i can you know i I, 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 why wouldn't they uh make me president because bro i mean like it or not uh, obama brought a level of charisma and authenticity that it just was never your swag my guy it was never your swag so with that being said we're going to bring this one to an end all the internet stuff if you liked it toss it like dislike go ahead do that too nobody's scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring and youtube and bitch shooting like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons bang the bell for notifications and speak let me know what do you think in the comments like that like did you really think cory booker was going to win this come on man seriously the dude like the, like what happened to that hundred million dollars from zuckerberg cory what happened to that? All the programs, all the initiatives that were put in place to, you know, oh, for the youths and like, yo, these kids are, are they, they, the, 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 their circumstances and the environment that you left them is just unacceptable, unacceptable. And so I am glad you'll never be president of this country. But you may feel differently. And that's what I have a comment section for. Until the next one.